hello everyone today we shall see what is EAN or it is known as 18 electron rule this is an effective atomic number now during the formation of a coordination complex you know there are two terms one is primary valency and the other one is secondary valency primary valency denotes the oxidation number of the central metal atom and the secondary valency denotes the coordination number that is the central metal atom which is there it is connected to how many ligands it gives you the coordination number so ligand donating an electron pair by forming a coordinate covalent bond how many ligands are attached that gives you the coordination number or we say this is secondary valency and the oxidation state of the central metal atom gives you the primary valency okay now see Sidwick gave the effective atomic number a rule which gives you the electron pairs that are donated from the ligands till the central metal atom which is there is surrounded by the same number of electrons as the next noble gas configuration and hence it becomes stable right it, it will try to give the number of electrons the ligands gives the number of electrons till it acquires the stable configuration to the next noble gas now see the calculation you can do using the formula is effective atomic number is equal to atomic number of the central metal atom any complex is given you write the atomic number of central metal atom minus the oxidation number of that you can calculate that plus the number of electrons donated by the ligands it is not the electron pairs it is total number of electrons donated by the ligand okay so that means two coordination number donated by the ligand is coordination number this is secondary valency oxidation number or primary valency so other way also you can write as EAN is equal to atomic number minus the oxidation number plus 2 multiplied by the coordination number say the coordination number means the number of ligands attached if say the ligands attached is Cl4 so 4 ligands are attached one ligand donates electron pair so 4 ligands will donate 8 electrons ok total 8 electrons you can use either way number of electrons donated by ligands or you can write 2 into the coordination number coordination number is 4 multiplied by 2 so that will give you this now using the effective atomic number we can check the stability of the complex if it gives you the configuration like the next that is next to the uh, noble gas configuration that complex will be more stable compared to the other one okay see we can calculate the EAN as example you see K4 FeCN6 here the central metal atom is Fe oxidation number of Fe is plus 2 you can calculate CN6 and K4 so plus 1 and minus 6 so plus 2 atomic number of Fe 26 number of electrons donated by the ligands that is CN6 you can write either as 2 into the coordination number is 6 so 12 or you can say 6 ligands donates total 12 electrons so EAN will be equal to 26 atomic number minus the oxidation state that is 2 and plus the electrons donated by the ligands 12 so it is equal to 36 hence you get the configuration of the nearest noble gas of krypton krypton is 36 so k4 fecn6 is stable but if we compare this with k3 fecn6 instead of k4 now if we take k3 fecn6 only change will be the oxidation state of fe fe here is in plus 3 oxidation state atomic number 26 uh, the electrons donated by cn6 is 12 so calculating ean you get 26 minus 3 that is oxidation number plus the electrons donated by ligands 12 it is equal to 35 so it is not equal to the stable configuration of the nearest noble gas 36 krypton and hence if we compare these two 
K4 efficient 6 and K3 efficient 6, K4 efficient 6 will be more stable. Okay. In case of metal carbonyls, say the example is given of metal carbonyls, NiCO4 or any other you say, Ni is the central metal atom, oxidation number will be always 0 in case of metal carbonyls. Atomic number of Ni is nickel is 28. Electrons total donated by the ligand is CO4. So, total electrons donated 8. So, effective atomic number will be 28 minus 0 plus 8 that will be equal to 36. So, it is a stable complex. See one more of the metal carbonyl example you can see is chromium with hexacarbonyl. Okay, so oxidation number in case of metal carbonyls of the central metal atom will be 0, chromium in 0 oxidation state, atomic number 24, chromium atomic number is 24, electron donated by 6 CO will be equal to 12, hence the effective atomic number will be equal to 26 minus 0 oxidation state plus 12 that is equal to 36, so you get krypton. So, CrCO6 is also a stable complex. Now, see in this example, there is the attachment of the ligand is En. En is ethylene diamine that is NH2, CH2, CH2 and NH2. This is the example of a neutral bidentate ligand. Okay. So, one ethylene diamine donates total 2 electron pairs or it has total 4 electrons. Now, while calculating the oxidation number, you get cobalt as in plus 3 oxidation state because it is a neutral ligand. Okay. Cobalt plus 3 is equal to 0 is equal to 3 plus 3. Atomic number of cobalt is 27. Number of electrons donated is equal to 3 of the ethylene diamine donates 4, 1 ethylene diamine donates 4 electrons, so 3 will donate total 12 and hence EAN is equal to 27 minus 3 plus 12 is equal to 36, so this is a stable one. Now you can try this all for the uh, practice, palladium I will give you the atomic number is 46, others you can try for the uh, calculation of the EAN.